Like I, they just fuck, they know I, uh, how to do it like so well. The now. wrestling business right now is so big, much bigger than it it was even then, and there's not as many people watching it on TV. Okay, just a second, Tish. Um, can you still meet me in Gleniska? It's 2K to my left. The what? Is that, losing is that game. what we should do? Um, just let me look at the do map. Do you have yeah, one I life think we should, in your I games? I totally think, yeah, we gotta meet in Gleniska or the road up to Gleniska for you. You're I feel like I wanna buy it. I wanna get your game now. <laughs> Shit, Daisy. Just, just, just wait. That um, game sounds fun as Just fun. wait, Tish. Now, the way you guys are talking... If you're that, in Biliwa and you come down the main road to Gleniska, if you hit a T, that's where you should stop. And there should be a big military base, like the airfield. The airfield should be to your left. Like, you can't miss it. Ah, oh, shit. How long will it take me to download when this? When you hit that T. So, I should be traveling out towards Lucal until I see that T. Which is in what direction? Jesus only knows. Okay, we'll figure it out. We're close. And I'd like to hit that um, So it's kind of like, um, it is like Fortnite, but better, right? No, it's it's not like Fortnite. It's it's not. It, it's, oh, like, like, it's like oh, Ghost you, Recon. You're not playing the... It's like Ghost Recon meets Survival. But that, you, that's what it oh, is. you guys, More. you guys are working together. You're not worried about anybody else in the game trying to kill you. You're just worried about the AI trying to kill you. There is no AI. No, I'm worried about people sniping me in the fucking head at oh. any point. You worry about oh, starvation. God. You worry about your warmth. You worry about getting rained right. on. I like you that worry aspect. About I like I like worrying about that. You worry that. about yeah, getting infections. Cool. You worry about running out of your stamina. You worry about yeah, like so cool. many yeah, goddamn like things. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's about survival. The the game's about. Fuck! Oh, well, well, how much was it last week or last month? It was uh, forty dollars, but twenty more dollars for the expansion map. Oh, you guys are playing on the, on the expansion, or...? I just bought both of them right at once, so I could play wherever I want. Oh. I thought, the extra $20... What's the difference? I don't know, I've been getting a little bit bored with just... Like, all I do is play Red Dead Online and this, like NHL. And I want a different game to play online that has people that I could talk to and all that, you know. It should be on the left. If you're coming down and you hit the T, it should be on your left. You should be able so to see it. Should... You should be able to see it like a good 500 meters before the T, because it is an airfield. Again, the, like I'm not gonna spend. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking reinforce that idea. I'm not gonna spend fucking seventy or eighty bucks on fuck that. <laughs> I would rather buy it for forty dollars, not seventy. Shit, fuck that. Well, that was last week. Why do they make the games so expensive now? Because they're bastards. I... Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> I'm not doing that. No, I, uh... Fuck, I'm waiting for GTA 6 to come out, man. Who knows? We might have to buy a new console entirely. What happens when the PS5 comes out? Everybody's gonna fucking buy it. That's what, that's the way they do it for every fucking generation. Shift. They're definitely talking to Microsoft because they want to do it all at the same time so that everybody has a choice. I mean, like, Nintendo's basically said fuck you to everybody and they just do whatever the fuck they want. But if you really think about it, they do it all at the same time so that... 
Ah, fuck. What am I saying? What, what do you guys think? No, I think Nintendo's more on the nostalgic end uh, oh, now. And ch and children, they're always yeah, it's children for sure. But but nostalgic as well. Like yeah. if you think about like ah fuck, that's because I just think about my de demographic. But you're right. The first system I ever had was an N64, and then I only got it at PlayStation because I could play. GTA my parents didn't care like they my parents bought me GTA when I was 12 they didn't or well 10 no 10 they, they didn't fucking care they're like yeah this is the game you want to play here let's get you the system that you, you played on and buy the game that was pretty much the way they, they didn't give a shit <laughs> ah. am I bad am I a bad person for that fuck I'm I'm desensitized because I played these violent video games. I think it's normal, but fuck. Now video Dude. games are different. You got this fucking um it's realistic now. This shit oh isn't fucking God. I don't think that a kid that's ten years old today should be playing GTA. I don't like, and I was ten years old playing GTA, or even younger. I was like eight or nine when I was playing it. And it's like, and that was different then. Yeah, that I, was, think I think you know, things are too quick. Nowadays. The graphics, the graphics weren't the same. It wasn't as realistic. Now, when you're looking at GTA now, like GTA Five, that shit's so brutal, so realistic. Like I don't know, like how how do you? Like that shit. Even call, obviously, Call of Duty, you shouldn't be. Like that shit's fucking violent. Although, like, you should trust your kids at the same time and know that they're not like susceptible to being psychopaths. Like, I'd like to think that you'd know that your kid's a psychopath before you hand them a video game where you're shooting a gun. You know. Fuck. I always had the. I mean, fuck. I. Uh, I think it's good. I'm an only child, and uh, my parents got me a dog when I was five or six. And then from then on, I always had a dog. You know, after he died, we got another dog. And then, as I, you know, I think that if you, if you, that, that fucking, that makes you care about, you know, about shit. You know? If you fucking. If if you're okay. fucking being desensitized um, through video games and shit growing up, I, I have the health to make the run to Gleniska. It says one kilometer to Gleniska, so you guys go off the metric system. I'm a Canadian. How how do these guys fucking um do the math? Uh. Well, in their heads, of course. I would say okay. So two, uh, uh sorry, two kilometers would be, a, a roughly a, a mile and a quarter. Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, something, something like, something like, like yeah, that. like I'm right. Yeah, I'm not even like joking. I'm like being serious with that question. Yeah, no, that that's like <laughs> that's fairly <laughs> accurate. As I love the way the way I I talk about shit, it sounds like a joke when I'm yeah. serious, and I I don't want to let that go. I want to fucking talk like that for as long Man, as I can. 
what Tish, what is going on with you? You're all soulful tonight, man. I think so. No, on. I'm always like no, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm trying to do I was talking about this before. I want to get into sales and shit. I want to I want to fucking I want to sell shit. I want to fucking make more money. I'm working for Pepsi. I'm I, I'm I I feel like when I'm when I'm talking to people like you guys in the video game like this, you know, it's it's a way for me to get my voice out. I, I, I need to do it. You know, what do, what do you want me to do? Call some kind of helpline on a phone and talk to some person, you know, for mental health, you know, like, no, you're, I, I just you're gonna get, You're going to get me mental health advice from fucking idiots like me? Yeah, no, to be honest, yeah, it's like, yeah. either you could, I, I, when I, I have, the last time I called uh, a phone number, like, uh, I called children's help phone when I was, like, 20. That was the last time I did that. And I would just talk, I would talk to the stranger for, like, over an hour. And I was like, what am I doing? And from then on, all I do what? is I just meet people on the internet on PlayStation like this, and I just talk to people for over an hour. The same principle. Like I, I just won't shut up, and you have to listen to me. That's just, it. Just hold up, Tish. What? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Go on. I am good at listening though. But yeah, we're on sixteen. Wasn't it? Yeah, we we're on. 8816 because I don't know what 70 is I've never played it so wait are you guys talking about the uh, the yearly um, yeah it's not there yet updates Fuck. I'm trying to play NHL at the same time and um, we're no, currently getting this is, a, this is a totally different uh, game. Um, we're talking about server names, is what we're talking about. Right, name, right. Name, so you guys, do you guys build anything? Joining. You have like a camp? No, there's no camps. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, cool. It's really so, hard to wrap your mind around the concept of this game. It's it's uh, a lot of building. It, no, is there leveling it, up? No, it's a game. It's a game about survival. It's a, it's a game about Right, but but About but living, if you level surviving. up, do you get any benefits from leveling up that help you? You, you like, level is it possible up. You to level play up by yourself? Like, through your through your gear that you find or fight for or kill for or trade sure. for or whatever you want. Like, there's like no rules. There's no okay. rules. Right, so, right. But you but you can gain resources or. I'm, I'm just, what yeah. I'm trying to say is like, like, um, can you make yourself invincible? No. Oh, okay. It's back. I'd up. have to check it out. I guess. Like, I feel like, like, like I play a lot of Red Dead Online, and I'm level two fifty or something stupid like that, and like I have everything. Like I, I'm stupid rich in the game. Like, it's almost like. A joke when I play the game because I have everything, you know. Like there could be like some kind of shit like that. I actually hoped there would be a thing like that that it would happen. What? Where they would just tell us to not go to work for a couple of weeks and we just get paid to sit at home. Yeah, so that, that we would have that to go. That might be a good short-term goal, but the the reason they're telling I you to do it would probably happen. be bad. I think that'd be great. I, I would hang out with my bad. dog. I would still go out, but not not much, you know. Well, you know what, Tish, you can do that right now on your own. You don't need nobody to tell you. Yeah, but I want to get paid. Eh? Uh. All right, well, zombie. no, I mean it, it could come night, to brother. that. If they say that Take seventy percent of our population is gonna get the coronavirus, then what the fuck do you do? Don't be old. Do 
The thing is, is that uh, a lot of people that will be infected with the virus won't even know that they have it, and a majority of them will be young. And a yeah, lot but of they're not going to die from they it because they have the immune system enough. to deal with it. There's going to be a lot of people that don't even show so symptoms of the virus and don't get it. That's yeah, what's fucked up about it. That's I think. They don't explain it. That's what's fucked up about it. You have to do your own research to really figure out what's fucked up about it. And it, it just, it's all a public scare. And then they're gonna say, oh yeah, 30 to 70% of the populations could get... Like, alright, well... Tell us the truth from the beginning. Instead of little bits all, all along the way. You know, like... Whatever, we'll figure it all out at the end. When all of us fucking either die or go to Mars. I'd love to go to fucking Mars. Fuck that shit. Could why you imagine would, the screening you do that? to get somebody to go to Mars? Like, you have to make sure they don't have the coronavirus. And all, like, AIDS, fucking, fucking, uh, Ebola, all the fucking diseases. They, if you're gonna send somebody in outer space, you have to do multiple, they should be in quarantine for, like, a month. Or even just general people going to outer space. I'm sure there's a lot of fucking death and disease in outer space. Dude. Things mutate. That's how the world mm -hmm. was made. It's a pet, pet, petri, petri, petri dish. Petri. Up there and petri, petri. It's like a like they're worried about cruise ships and shit like that. They should be worried about the ISS. Uh, you should be worried about me, motherfucker. Don't be fucking sneezing and coughing on fucking elevator buttons, you cock. Here, actually, um, stop, Tish. Yo, the, babe, you guys you should this? have a virus Let, in your game. It'd be only fitting. T tell me if you hear this. <laughs> Okay, well that's where I am. You shoot one. Now you shoot one. Do you got a gun? <laughs> He's like, yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, we Jesus. should have that. You didn't hear? You didn't hear it from your TV at all? <laughs> okay, well we're we're nowhere close to each other then, just yet. I'm coming into Gurniska, I think. I think. <laughs> Oh be. fuck! That game sounds fun, but I, like I said, I'm not spending seventy dollars. Dude, this game is the bomb. I I really I really like this game. It's very unique. I can't I can't very do it though. Like I fucking I have other things I gotta worry about, like my dog. I don't care what you gotta worry and about. And coronavirus. Okay. I I I'm still skeptical. Maybe my dog might get coronavirus and give it to me. And then we're all fucked. Once dogs start giving it to people, then we're all fucking screwed. Actually, to be honest, if once cats start giving it to people, because I think cats are worse than dogs. Like, I, to be honest, like, I do not like cats. I'm not a cat fan. Yeah, I, that's cats why I have a dog. I have okay. a dog because I can't have cats. Because I don't like cats and I'm allergic to them, but I don't like cats. I think that they, uh, I don't think they care about people the same way dogs do. I think dogs care about people, you know? Dogs don't want you to die. I think, well, it's, it's kind of nice to have a little bit more of an independent pet. Like, so, I kind of like cats for that reason. Cats But I'm more of a kind of dog person, but a dog's cats like having a baby. Cats will live without you. Like, a dog is Dogs literally like live having without a you. baby. A dog could not live without you. 
Uh, a cat could yeah, not care if you die. A cat will just That's eat what you. I kind of like about cats. Ah! I like cats. I do. Uh, I that's can't, what I'm you know, saying. I, I don't They're want, more yeah, independent. I do like, cats. like a dog, you gotta like baby cats, that yeah. fucking dog. Like, I just, I just don't. I think that my opinion is that I prefer dogs because I think that dogs are more loyal, and I think that cats don't give a fuck. So I, I, I couldn't care about cats for that reason. Oh, fuck yeah, I got an assist. But, um, they're they're two totally different things. Yeah, they're smarter than dogs. I think that's a fair thing to admit, right? They are, but then again, they're not they're not smarter than dogs because they can't be trained like dogs. So there are like smarter I dogs. I taught like a th I taught like a two week old kitten how to fetch, so. You can train a cat to shit in the toilet. You just can't get them to flush it. Yeah, some cats will it's literally the, like, like shit legit. In the you toilet. can go to the yeah, pet store and buy the shit to do that. They they don't know how to flush the toilet, but that you could train them to take a shit in the toilet. I think that's pretty cool. I wish you could do that with a dog. All you have to do is, I don't have a, so much oh, of a problem with training poo. my dog to shit outside. I think my dog will shit outside. She just pisses a lot. <laughs> What's hard is to stop her from pissing inside. That's the only thing. We're trying to talk about animals, right? Um... Fuck with Do anyway. snakes defecate a lot? Or snakes... Do snakes defecate a, a, a lot? Yeah, like snakes. Do they take shits that are big or... Or do you really see them? Do you ever notice them? Uh, I'm not a snake I always expert. thought they came out like treasures. Hey, what do you know? Sheesh, that that's a really interesting question you came up with. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Do snakes shit a lot? Like, what is it big? Is it like what is it? Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Please. Psycho. Uh, what? It's a joke, man. I thought they came out like treasures. Like, I'm thinking like a little. Something you could sculpt. You know what, Tish? Uh, like something good looking. Have, out have of. you ever heard of a little site called Google? Yeah, I'm pretending that that never existed. Uh, I think I think that has like more qualified answers than what us two idiots might say. Yeah, but I there's a reason why I ask these questions because I like hearing the tone of your voice and the response. To the yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure you fucking do. <laughs> sure, sure you really do enjoy the tone funny. of my fucking voice. You... <laughs> Fuck. Oh, oh well, no. Come on. This is part of my uh, my attitude. My comedy. Part of, part of your fucking charm. <laughs> yeah, part of my charm. Yeah. Um. <laughs> you never thought about that though. Well, what am I thinking about now? Uh, I forgot about it too. <sighs> What's yeah, uh? Much. So, what are your favorite bands or musicians? Everybody, that's uh, a a good question to follow. I like the tragically with. hip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they they are definitely one of my favorites for sure. Um, I do from I Kingston, really do. you know. Yep, yep. 
No. What about everybody else? Who are they? Who is that? Who? Okay, where are they from? Who did he say? Damien and... Or, sorry? Damien Marley. Oh, oh so Mar one of... Marley's so son? Bar Bob Marley's... One of Bob Marley's 22 sons? Okay. Well, I'm a big fan of Bob Marley. So you picked one of his sons, one of his... Um, I had a Rastafari... I had a Rastafari uh, roommate. That, that was pretty cool. Could you imagine that though? He had almost two dozen sons. Really? Like, he didn't have a lot of. Or, how many girls did he have? No, he had a lot of kids. He had like two dozen kids. How many sons did he have? If he had two dozen kids, then he would have 24 sons. No, he had almost two dozen kids. But he had a majority of them were males. Like I do know, I do know of a couple of them as musicians. Maybe Damien's the one I'm thinking of, but um, there is one that I've heard about that was pretty good. It, I, fuck, you have over twenty fucking kids. That's a lot of fucking kids. It's a lot of know? sperm flying around, isn't it? And they're all separate moms. Like, I, know, I don't know it's so if that's weird about women. Jamaica, they have or that do you stuff. like, or is that why China and India has so many people? I don't understand. Like, we're gonna figure this shit out. Like, in North America, we're like, we're trying to have less kids. I feel like I'm, like, I just want to have a dog. I don't really want to have kids. I'd rather have a dog. Well. You know, I don't even have a girlfriend. Actually, I'd rather, I'd like to get a girlfriend with a dog, but I don't really want to have kids. Like, I'd like to have kids if it makes sense, you know? I think you'd like to fuck some pussy once in a while and not have a girlfriend. It, well, no. I would like to have kids. One day. But, like, it would have to make sense. Like, do it when it's right. Don't just do it to have kids. Which I see a lot of people just do that. Oh, yeah. You know? A you lot of people me. decide to have kids just to have fucking kids. It's like, well, why are you doing that? Like, that's not logical. Like, <laughs> Because a lot of the world doesn't think very logically. They think... Well, I, I, I can understand if you're thinking, like, because you're young... And you're thinking that oh this kid or, or will teach, be uh, or teach, your age when you're when to, you're still young, you know. It. I like that. I like that idea that oh yeah, if I have a kid when I'm 20, when I'm 40, and I still feel young because I'm gonna age really good, that that kid's gonna be 20 and almost look just like me, you know. It's and it doesn't happen like that. But I think there's a lot of people that obviously probably feel that way. And fuck, oh. that's a lot of bullshit. My mom had me when she was uh, how old? Was she? she was twenty nine when she had me, or uh, uh. no, she was thirty two. My mom was thirty two when she had me. I'm twenty seven, and I just I, I just got my first dog. So, what am I doing? I'm not having fucking. Ki she didn't even have a dog when she, before she had me. So, what am I doing? I'm fucking writing my own path, right? Yeah, right. You're writing your own path and getting that dog. Yeah. No, I love it. That's what I. That's what I. Like, I want to be unique in that sense. I don't want to. I want to do my own thing, you know. And I'm fucking, I'm doing really good in my job. I might, I might get promoted soon. I might get promoted to sales and make fucking twenty or thirty thousand dollars more than what I'm making right now. Start making Yo, fucking big, close to uh, hundred. I want to make a right hundred thousand a year. That's my goal. If you look at that on your map, that's exactly where I am right now. 
I am in Glaniska drinking from the water, water tap. Oh, great. Oh, you have the coronavirus? Do you guys have diseases in that game that you can't cure? No, you can cure them. It just depends what drugs you need. There's Can you get four, cancer in like that game? There's like four different drugs. Because, and... like, cancer is the only fucking disease that you can't really cure, right? So if you get cancer, you'd be like, oh, maybe we can treat this, but we don't know if we can cure it. Or, you know what I mean? I mean, it is a video game, though. I'm fucking. Wait. I'm fucking um, lagging big, in this big, game. What did, what did Zombie say he had? Sco not scoliosis. But... I'm playing what? NHL and as I'm talking, Whoa. I'm lagging. Big, and then everybody's what, looking what at me he, like I'm a fucking idiot. He had? Um. Not scoliosis, but. Uh... Scoliosis can be a very serious disease. Um... Um, I would, I wouldn't want to see an animal get scoliosis, let alone a human. Cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy. Yeah. That's the guy, that's and what I thought, right? And you, this is for you that I'm That's what the of. other guy had, right? He was cerebral palsy. Yes, right? sir. That's what he had. Oh, but but he was saying oh it's degenerative like so you weren't always like that. No, you're you're born with cerebral palsy and there's no cure. And you were asking him oh there's cures for that and there's no cure for it, dude. Okay. No, but it isn't like he's gonna die. It soon because of that. It it works on your it works on your nervous system. I your didn't whole think life. he was gonna die like you, he had. Do you remember? Fucking... Do you remember Stephen Hawking, the uh, famous professor? Yeah, but he lived a long life. He lived. Yeah, to but almost look 80. at how he degenerated. He used to stand up yeah. and and fuck girls like you do. So, and then he degenerated I because I that's uh, I haven't gotten laid palsy. in a long time. I'm just saying. It's probably a good teesh, thing. Like teesh, I think, like it could be like. It uh, was, shut up and listen to me for two seconds. It was kind of rude what you said to him. I won't lie. I, it might be. Uh, you shouldn't push that people to answer like questions you don't know people. about themselves. Okay, it's a life hey? lesson. It's a life well, he, lesson. He'll have a lot to think about while he's not talking to people. What? What are you talking about? Like, you know, while he's in one of those fucking degenerative states. Tish, I'm talking about you and the way you, you treated him. I think I think he'll be okay. <laughs> I think he's gone through a lot worse. I'm just saying, don't, like, fucking ask people about their disease when you don't know anything about it. I do know much about it, but I ask questions... You uh, asked if there's a, a different if frame there's of mind. a cure for cerebral palsy, man. There is no fucking cure for cerebral palsy. Most people know that. Well, then he should understand that. If All he right. doesn't get that, then what did his doctor tell him? Right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's all you really need to know. How insensitive can one person be? No, that's that's exactly what I'm where I'm coming from. Right? I don't I don't care. Exactly. This is what what you asked me. You just asked me. I didn't fucking I like No, you asked the question and then I said, Well, isn't that what everybody asked themselves? Oh fuck. Come on, man. Let's not fucking play musical chairs. This, 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 you know, this is the way... I think 
if you don't like it, then like what what do you you don't like about that? Like, come on, man! Like, there's a lot of ways you can you can think it's funny. Because you guys are so sensitive right now, like, okay. I'm not sensitive, want? Tish. I'm trying to teach you, like, how to interact with people a little better. Hmm? Like, like, Zombie took that very well That from some of the things you were saying, and I didn't want to interject, like, being... I didn't think very just... much of it. I know, I know but, you, you yes. like you, you like don't know, but I'm just saying in the future when when you don't know about something. Oh come on, yeah, but you're just being maybe a little. Ask some if, if, questions you're trying to represent of, um, somebody that's not even here. So then, how is it that offensive? It's not that, about you know, his that's person. What I'm, like dude, okay, so it's, I'm it's sorry, but future. like I'm sorry it's to compare this, but you like if you future. have like this is like putting somebody. I was asking questions and and no, I wasn't being. Okay, now now you're trying to go what two hours or an hour? Let's say an hour and a half. I'm just saying behind. in general, you don't need to be. Now defensive. you want to you, you want to rewind to what I was saying to that person, and that was that bad, because I think that what I was saying to that I'm 27. What I was saying to that person, I think, was edgy but not that bad i think that person yeah how the fuck i i, I, I think i was i think i was quite nice to that person that i think i was quite nice to that person if you guys see it a different way then okay but i think that i uh, i okay, understood teach, that, that teach, person uh, was i'm just saying you're bringing this up now like this is an issue and i think that's interesting it's not about it's not about the exact incident what what it's about is is saying that when you when you don't know something maybe ask questions before you open your mouth oh what's wrong with asking somebody because with a disability be, questions okay, no. about their disability no, that's what's fine, wrong but, with that but what you no, said to be honest what you though, said to him what's wrong teach, with that if we're not hey, going to talk about it then just, what the fuck just listen to me if that's listen. your problem what the fuck why okay well <laughs> Their disability is well, not my business. Not so much okay, that. thank you. It's that, it's thank that, you for telling me that. You, it's I that guess you they didn't should know, fucking say that. Me, I'm trying to I'm be nice. To, you. I'm trying to be nice to somebody that. about that, and then you guys are picking on me like I'm being an asshole. But you know, like what? Every word out of my I feel like no. When I really think about it, like I was being pretty nice to that person, and nobody will ever shut up. Had their disability. Talking and nobody will stop talking. All right, so. So, sorry, I am playing that, okay. this game and trying to figure out your frame of mind, what you guys really think about this. I think it's bullshit, but sure, go on. Tell me how I'm wrong. I'm not saying you're... Look, I found it personally a tiny bit much. That you told somebody with cerebral palsy that there's a few cures for cerebral palsy. There is no fucking cure for cerebral palsy, okay? At all. Well, I, I'm sorry. He will I die think from I've, that disease. I think that that's he a will, product. He will fucking go a from a person like me and you that is standing the up States. to a cripple in a fucking I jerry bag drinking Trump from a straw. Trump my attitude a little too much. But you can't even but shut up for two seconds questioning. to let me tell you that. <laughs> Oh fuck, man! You know what? I thought there was. Um, there is a, uh, isn't it the, uh, what Howie Mandel has or something? I was thinking about what Howie Mandel has, to be honest. Okay, yeah, you go from that to Howie Mandel. Yes. Somebody that's afraid of um. Tish, listen to me without other. fucking opening your mouth for fucking three seconds. You told somebody. Why with a, do you have to be no, so? No, you can't even do it. You upset. can't even do it. You can't go three seconds without opening your mouth. Yeah, I can, but you are shut not the fuck very up then and listen to me. You've never been good at talking. No, no, you're right. I'm the worst communicator. I'm better there is. At talking. I've been than a bartender for 15 years, and I'm the worst communicator there ever was. 
Okay, so then say what you want to say, because you take a long time to say it. I'm saying you told somebody with cerebral palsy there is multiple cures for his disease and not knowing that there is no cure for his disease. So what I'm saying uh, is that that's, not, that's super okay. rude to say to somebody. In other words, like you should just say, I don't know fuck about that is what you should have said. I think he took it very good. God, oh my lord. I felt so bad for fucking... Um, uh, zombie man like I was just like dude like and that's why zombie left in the, in the end and he's like I'm just getting tired of this you know Ugh, fucking stupid Tish. he's one of those friends I kept around because I was like trying to like just you know just to help him be his friend like just sort of like he's pretty cool most of the time like but tonight was over the top. I didn't appreciate that at all. I didn't like that at all. Anyways, thank God. I thought it was my party, or I would have kicked him. I would have told you to kick him, like, fucking 20 minutes ago, like I said. Yeah, Noah. That's what he's got. A bunch of Noah. Okay, so Luke out. I gotta go up this street, but I need I need a little bit of food. Okay, wait. Um, I have a splitting axe and a knife, and here's a chicken. There's food. So I'm I'm uh, in I'm in Gleniska at the um. I'm right downtown Gleniska to go up to Lukau, and that's the street that the um, airfield is on where we're going to find bitch and weapons. Right after I kill this goddamn chicken. So where are you, bro? Back at the well where? Lucal, Brenna, um, Colin Brody. Oh, B Bilawa. I just call it Bilawa because yeah, it's impossible. Okay, you're at the well at Bilawa. Okay, so you gotta you gotta take the road. Okay, you're you're at are you okay, just stop, stop. Are okay, in Bilwa, are you at the well that's right beside right across from the church or are you at the well that's nowhere near a church? Okay, so then it should be to your right and then the, the there should be a sign that says to go to Gleniska. You wanna go down that road. It should be right there. Find the road that says to Galeniska and follow it to the T. When you hit the T, tell me. Yo, what's up, bro? I'm going hardcore, but I'm sur I'm a survivor. What are you? What are you? What are you doing? Who the fuck am I talking to right now? Yeah, man, and yeah, you're welcome, of course. I, I'm just cutting up a chat. We were just trying to meet in the uh, airfield by Gleniska, is where he's in Bilua and I'm in Gleniska, so we were trying to meet at the airfield. Yeah, fuck, okay, we're, we're a triangle then, right? Yeah, we're a triangle. Yeah, you're you're coming down south. I'm going up north. He's coming uh, east. Well, why'd you leave? That makes me nervous. I don't like that.
Oh, yeah, sorry. We were talking about that before. Wait, what do you got? You got to make it to a medical center and get drugs. Get a look on the map. the fuck? No, but I think a shot might have just went right by me. Fuck, I'm trying to make a fire. Who's shooting at me? Like, seriously? There's like seven people in here. You're shooting at me? Like, what the fuck is wrong with people? If you want to play Call of Duty, go, go fucking play Call of Duty. Like... When you hit that T, even before you hit that T, you should see the airfield. The airfield should be on your left, like, the whole way for, like, 300 meters. It's huge. It's huge. There's no way you can miss it. It should be. If you went down the right road. Unless you're in Lucal, and then you got to make a huge right. I don't know, it may be up the street a, a while, but if you hit like a dead T, I, I don't know. This is the problem with the game, like, it, I can't navigate for you, you have to, you have to figure it out, you have to figure that shit out for yourself, I can't, I, I don't know how to be your eyes, you know what I mean? So you, you figure it out, like, take a minute, even log out and have a good look at it, like, figure it out. That's all I can say. Okay, so for me, I'm trying to make a fire. So, um, yeah. Oh, goddamn. Fuck my life.
Ah, oh, I so wish I would have known that that was your party, not mine. I just forgot. Are you sure? <laughs> All right, you'll figure it out. Oh my god, I made fire. Sweet little baby Jesus. to it fuel um, drop to inventory oh combine Ooh, combine of course yeah yeah add fuel by hitting combine sweet little baby Jesus okay two hands go to the meat man I've died so many times because I didn't know how to do this. Oh, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm getting better. That was my best. That was my third. That was my third or fourth fire, and I'm getting better at it. Oh, it's hard, man. It's not easy. I will definitely suggest you should. <laughs> watch some video before you're like fully equipped and you're like oh my god I'm gonna die and I have lots of meat on me and I'm gonna like get sick if I eat it <laughs> I'm gonna die <laughs> like, oh fuck as soon as you got like a knife and an axe you should practice practice just practice making fire
it's so confusing dude like i i don't begrudge anybody that doesn't like quite get it because i'm having a heart a hell of a time with it Damn straight, bro. <laughs> so yeah, once you have food, you're you're pretty good because it gives you water too, right? A little bit, anyways. You do have to find water, but it helps you. Oh, I gotta wash. Another thing is, once you kill like something, if you don't have gloves on or whatever, you gotta wash your hands, man. Okay, well. I can hear roosters crowing in the background. Okay, gotta go wash my hands. Roosters right over here. I'm looking like a survivor now.